we're bringing this coral reef back to life. I'm going to be picking up some, some coral. Is that what it's called? Yes, so we're going to be picking up some fragments of opportunity. So what do you call them? Fragments? Fragments of opportunity. I'm going in there for fragments of opportunity. <laughs> I feel right. like I'm in a self-help book, Monica. Yes, can you bring me back some of that opportunity? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to rebuild this reef. We're, they're, they're, they're rebirthing it, they're regrowing it. I'm so yes. excited. We're part of an actual project to bring something back to life. Amazing. Yeah. OK, guys, so let's go. Let's meet Shamim. He's waiting for us. OK. Go. Oh. The strong El Nino effect in 2016 saw sea temperatures rise by a few degrees across the Maldives. And that was enough to kill off 90% of the coral in some areas. The reefs were badly affected, but some small pieces survived. It's a good time. Amazing underwater. Yeah. More importantly, look what you brought back. How do we know if it's alive or dead? So basically, all of this brown part, you yeah. can see also this kind of like bumps. These are the polyps. Yeah. Polyps. So this part of the, well, this, or, this is covered in coral, is alive. But this part here, you can see that it's kind of like, it looks more like a rock, maybe. Yeah. It, it doesn't have any tissue on it. Oh. Yeah. So this is the tissue. These are the fragments yes. of opportunity right yes. here. Yeah. Here we are trying to get these little pieces that are about to die and just give them the second chance. So this is why. These living pieces are attached to metal frames. How many of these have you planted? We have around 12. And yes. you can see the growth? Yes. Will, 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 will I see that? Yes, you will see that. Oh, how exciting. Yes. And these frames are taken back out into the sea. The team choose sites where the water is more likely to be optimum for their growth, catching cooler currents that are full of nutrients. Is that Mon over there? Yeah, she's there, yeah. yeah. So they planted the corals and now they move the frames inside the lagoon, OK? So this garden where Monica is swimming yeah. is the garden of opportunity. Exactly, yeah. So after a few months, you can see all the beautiful marine life slowly come back. The ones that have had some time here are slowly starting to regrow. It's a long way from being a new reef, but it's a start, and something many resorts across the Maldives are also doing. Many like different kind uh, types of the fish, butterfly fish, parrot fish, oh. and sometimes you can see the stingray like hiding and sleeping under the under the frames. Okay, so let's say it's like a shelter for the, the marine life. So it's, it's beautiful. Some of us out there finishing this job. You know, the fact that there's a job here where you can give just something back and rebuild what was lost. You know, it's a really kind of extraordinary thing to do. Only time will tell whether these small-scale human interventions will help take a step in the right direction to reverse the damage this ecosystem has suffered. <laughs>